is no surprise. The Fighting Irish are on top in the Notre Dame region. They will play on March 22nd against Robert Morris. That is a Saturday on ESPN 1.30 Eastern in Toledo. We followed Toledo throughout the end of the season, hoping that that would be a neutral site and, and we could go there. And, and so happy that we were rewarded with that after this season that we've had. It's great for our fans. It's great for our team. It's so awesome to be able to get on a bus and go to a game and uh, have that flexibility of traveling, not worrying about finding the airlines. So I'm really excited about the season. Yeah, it was, it was a little nerve-wracking. I think a lot of people had to go to Baton Rouge originally. That's what I had assumed. But, you know, it's really good to be going to Toledo. It's close. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fans there. Families can come, things like that. So we're excited. In the past couple of years, we were kind of more uh, sure on where we were going to be placed. Uh, but having the different uh, variety of where we could be placed in the tournament, uh, it was exciting to find that, that we weren't going to be in Toledo and that we know that we're close enough that our fans come and support us. I know they do so much for us. So it would be great to kind of allow them to be in Toledo and support us for our first two games. I was really just hoping we were going to be in Toledo because it's only an hour away from my house <laughs> so uh, that was one of the things and then just it was kind of interesting to see you know who who everyone's two and three seeds were going to be and how everything was going to match up I think was the most interesting part because you know we didn't actually know who was going to be the fourth one seed until you know today so that was interesting to see I mean, every time I, I get to put on the Notre Dame jersey, I mean, I, I represent so much more than just myself. Uh, I represent the university, I represent this program, uh, and it's that thrill, that excitement, and, and that emotion uh, is what drives me every day, and I'm very excited that I get to do it one more time and, and play in this first round of NCAA tournament. It's very important that we take it one day at a time because you don't want to look ahead over any team. It's it's the dance, you know, people are come to play and they play with, you know, with their life on the line. So um, for the younger players, you know, we really got to keep them focused because it's very exciting to, you know, be in your first final, you know, your first dance and you're thinking about the Final Four and you're thinking about all the media and all that stuff. But we're, I'm pretty sure Coach will make sure that we're, we're ready and focused and not looking ahead. I think this team understands how to take it one game at a time. We've done it for three years. Every game has been important. Uh, every game demands our intense focus. I think the seniors and the leaders have done a great job with that. You start playing for your coaches, you start playing for your teammates, and we're definitely playing for our seniors. You know, they deserve it. They went to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Final Fours. They know what it feels like to lose, and they, they bring that every day to practice. You know, they play with so much high intensity and passion, so we definitely want to bring it back for them.